Hello and welcome to the video for third grade for Wednesday, April the 22nd. This is going to cover our new lesson on working with estimating mass and using uh, measurements related to that. So when we are talking about mass, we are talking kind of about weight. So um, things that we're going to relate um, to mass, we could also relate to weight, although we have different unit of measurements for that. So mass is specifically the amount of matter in an object, which can also be reflected in the way of that, because the more of something there is, the more substance and substance usually has weight to it. But um, we are gonna have different measurements. So we are gonna use metric. Um, so we're gonna be using grams and kilograms. And in our example for the book, a small paper clip has a mass of about one gram. Uh, one of the things that we would do in the classroom is we would find the mass of a pencil. And I happen to have a pencil here. I don't know if you can see it in the bottom right corner uh, where my face shows up, but um, we would measure this in grams, whereas we would measure um, the mass of your math textbook in kilograms. Or for instance, I could also do my iPad in kilograms as well. And so um, they say a box of a thousand paper clips. We have other things that we can also relate to kilograms that we have easier access to. But you could, if you're holding a pencil and you're holding a math book or uh, some other type of book, you can notice that there is a definite difference um, in the amount of matter that we have. And that can also be reflected in the weight. So um, we would use a balance to measure that. And so as we look at uh, problems throughout this lesson, we are going to see a balance or scale um, that we would use to figure out if both sides measure out to the same mass. So um, <clears throat> this is a project that we normally do at school, but if you would like to um, experiment with what you have at home to see uh, what might work. If you have a uh, scale or a balance, that would be um, a fun project for you to try. So um, let's take a look at our share and show. So number one, five bananas have a mass of about, and then we have this weight on this side. So the weight has a mass of one kilogram, and then we have a small bunch of bananas. And so we would say, that the five bananas have a mass of about one kilogram. And so in other lessons, and I know one of the things that they would do on the state test is they will give you some objects and then they will give you an additional weight um, to balance out both sides. And you may have to subtract the amount of the weight um, that is measured, um, like this one kilogram block, um, to be able to determine the answer, but we will not do that in this particular lesson. Um, I just wanted to make you aware of that because that is a very popular test question. So number three, the mass of a dog. Would we measure the mass of a dog in grams or kilograms? So is a dog similar in size um, to a single paper clip? or a book, or even larger than that. So um, the one that would make the most sense for that uh, would in fact be kilogram, and I'm just going to write the abbreviation, and then I'm gonna try to zoom back in because this uh, keeps taking me out. Uh, number five, so the mass of the eraser. It looks like, uh, from my perspective, that both of these would be considered equal. Um, so we could say the mass of the erasers equals, and I'm just going to use the equal sign to save time. You could use the word, um, the mass of the clips. Grams or kilograms. So looking at our three options here, and this is the one that we are doing, this one might make the most sense of the three of them that we could measure it in grams. So I could hold up this uh, little practice mute that I use to play trombone. Um, at home um, without making too much noise and bothering my neighbors. Um, this is hollow on the inside. So even though it looks like it's about the same size or maybe even larger um, than a pair of sunglasses, it's made of a very light material and there's a lot of open space inside. So I could also measure the mass of this in grams compared to kilograms probably. So um, we can use the abbreviation for grams for that. 
Uh, number nine, uh, the mass of the pen. And it looks like they're comparing it to four paper clips. And this one looks a little bit off to me. Now, if you are looking at it at home and it looks about equal, um, I think it also looks about equal. It doesn't look as lopsided as this one, but my perspective, I think the pen is slightly more uh, than the paper clip. Um, so to compare to this one where they are equal, I'm looking and at least it may just be my perspective because of my focus on the pen here. It looks like they could be equal or this one would be just slightly lower. So um, either one of those, I'm gonna put an equal sign and then put a question mark and then put possibly <laughs> uh, later on, it could be greater than or equal to, uh, we'll use that in uh, sixth grade uh, with inequalities. Um, so that covers everything I want to do for part one, which is going to be going through the lesson. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I will be available to answer questions and type comments and so forth. Um, the day that this video goes out, I just want to save the time of having to record the videos uh, because of appointments I have going on today. So um, I hope you have a great day and I will see you tomorrow.